Timetable in Notion? Yeah. And I know what you're thinking. Wait, this is this is just a table. This isn't that special. Oh my god, it's not a table. It's a database. Look at this. It's connected to another database. I'll explain how everything works. Now, first thing I want to point out. The template is free. Now, before you ruin the retention on this video, because you click away and you download the template and then YouTube thinks, okay, people are only watching this video for 10 seconds. Just chill, okay? Calm down. And we're going to go through the template. And then after that, that's when you're going to download it. Again, it's free. You can donate if you want. You don't have to, but you can. So this is a normal table database, right? We have just times here you know i could change this actually to time if you've watched previous videos where i talk about time blocking it's kind of we're combining a timetable and time blocking and a few other concepts and stuff we have all the times throughout the day then here these monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday what i'll do is i'll just add a saturday so you can see how it's done we'll hit the plus and then scroll down and there's this thing called relation now a relation is basically this thing in notion where you're telling a database to collect information from another database. Uh, Notion has a ton of cool stuff and I know it can be quite complicated. So if you're new to Notion and you think I would love like an intro video kind of thing, uh, just leave a comment, maybe tell me like what you're struggling with. Um, but I understand a lot of this is like overwhelming from a first glance. So we'll click on relation. And now here, what you wanna do is you wanna tell it which database you wanna connect to in order to pick up uh, information from. The one I've created below is called task list. So I'm just gonna click on that. And then here, it's gonna ask for some details. We don't want any limits on this cause we wanna say that I can do multiple things and then we can either show on task list or not show on task list. So it doesn't actually matter. Let's just say show on task list and then I'll hide it in there later. So we'll rename this first to Saturday. Here are your tasks. So if you think of a new task, you'll add it here. So uh, subscribe to Notion setups. Then you have the reoccurring tasks. So this might be stuff that you do on a weekly basis. I just wrote boxing class and meal prep or whatever you want to have here. And then we have your classes. So I'm very creative. As you can see, I came up with some classes here. Let's just go through all of them real quick. Tasks, as you can see, you just add something here, automatically gets added as a task uh, and you can add in details and all of that into the individual task. So say if you're like, for me, writing timetable uh, YouTube script. In this video, be sure to say something useful. So all of my notes and stuff for this task will go in this, uh, like when I open up this page. Then for reoccurring, the cool thing is when you hit add new, it will automatically, if I'm under this label here, it will automatically get added with reoccurring. So say if on a weekly basis, I am, uh, what, what's a good thing? Part-time job. Let's add a little emoji. We'll go money. That's the reoccurring. Then for classes, um, uh, what's, a, what's a class that people take? Science. So in the classes here, this is where you'll be taking your notes for all of the individual classes. So what we're trying to do is to create a place where you can house all of the information for pretty much everything you do in your life in like one page. Uh, so instead of having like, oh, I keep some stuff in, in Google Notes and other stuff in a Excel sheet and then some stuff on in my Apple Notes or whatever it is, all of it will be in the one place. So at the start of your day, all you do is open up this one page and it will control your entire life. Or by control, I mean you can see an overview of your entire life or your entire week. In geography here, for example, we'll click open. In here, this is where you'll be adding assignments, class notes, resources, yada yada. So you can make it really like aesthetic and detailed and stuff, or you can make it super simple. 30th of April, the world is big. As you can see here, we have life timetable. This is actually connecting to this column. As we did before, we said you can add it to task list. So I'll just show you how this works. On Saturday, let's say we, let's just say we have geography. You can see here that it's adding from here to 8 a.m. Now, this will get super long and annoying, so we don't want that. So what we're going to do is right click, and then we're just gonna hide in view. 
So that way it still knows in the background, this database knows they're connected, but it's just not displaying that information to us. Now you can change the views and stuff like that. You can add a few different properties. You might want some other properties like connecting other people, notifying other people, stuff like that. Again, let me know if you want a video where I kind of go over the basics of Notion and stuff. But this is how you'll be working in Notion. So I'll just remove this. Now, here's your week, right? And let's say we've got a new task that we're doing this week. So uh, on Monday, you have geography, notion studies, history, maths. You've got to walk mum's dog and you're going to watch the Mario movie. By the way, I haven't watched the Mario movie. I just needed an example of, of something you would do at 8 p.m. on a Monday. It's a me, a Mario. But OK, let's take subscribe to notion setups. So what you're doing is on Monday, right? And you're looking at your timetable. So you know your classes, all of that stuff. You can see all the information for your geography. You can quickly see all, your, all of your notes and stuff for Notion studies. Now, let's say, oh, you know what? At 7 p.m., I actually have a bit of time before I go out and watch the Mario movie. It's a me. You click here, and then you think, okay, what's the thing I might, might want to do? You have two options. You can either select it here, or you can actually create a task right in here. Let's say you you want to subscribe to Notion Setups. We'll write subscribe and it will probably come up. There we go. So we've selected it there. Now let's see the other example where we're looking at a timetable and we come up with a task that we want to do, but it's not already in our task list. We have two ideas. We can either hit new and add it in here, or we can actually add it straight into here and it will know to add that task into this database. So let's say at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, after I've written my timetable YouTube script, let's say create thumbnail for YouTube. Now here you can see the option to new create thumbnail for YouTube in task list. And then as you can see, that's now been added into task list. So it's a really intuitive way to work. And you know, let's say, okay, Saturday 8 p.m. or 8 a.m., sorry. Let's say I've got my boxing class and it's a really intuitive way to organize your timetable and just work with all the different things that you're doing in your life. So in order to remove something, you just click here and then you do the minus. And then let's say your boss calls you and hey, can you work on Wednesday night, 8 p.m.? Click here and then you can select part-time job. Select here, click part-time job. How I would recommend working is probably every Monday morning or maybe Sunday evening or Friday evening or whatever, you sit down and you plan out your next week. So you'll know, you'll probably know the classes that you have that week and hopefully you'll be notified on what days you're working your part-time job, for example. But then you can also, you know, put in all the different stuff that you're doing. So what days are you going to hang out with your friends? What days are you going to subscribe to Notion Setups? What days are you going to do meal prep, for example? What days are you going to walk the dog? What days are you going to go to a boxing class? Whatever it is, you can then easily see on like a very clear timetable what times to actually do all these different activities that you're trying to put into your busy schedule. Because it's very overwhelming knowing I have so much stuff to do, how am I going to get everything done? And this kind of alleviates or at least lessens that, um, that stress because you can actually see on like a grand picture what your entire week looks like. So I hope this is helpful. Again, the, it's completely free. Like this, it, the, it's just free. This template is free. 